Hello everyone, it is the Craft Hog, and I thought I would come on with a um, die and stamp haul. So welcome to my channel where we, uh, where I do crafts, I show off some crafts and hauls, obviously. <laughs> Here I am, probably more hauls than I show off crafts. I mean, I do crafts, but I don't always get them all done in time. So you might see something now and then not see it again for two months. But um, anyways, I'm glad you came. Please like, subscribe. It all helps. Comments are always welcome. And um, what I had done is in January, I decided to try um, In Love Art Shop. And so I ordered a bunch of their clearance price items. And um, I guess they had a sale going on, if I remember right. And also, free shipping if you buy $25 worth. So I did. I spent exactly $25 after the discount. So all of this was $25, which is awesome. I mean, I did have to wait because I ordered it in January. And I got it, what is it, middle of April? So I did have to wait, but kind of like AliExpress, a little bit, maybe a little bit longer, but kind of like AliExpress. Okay, so I had ordered this little house. I didn't realize how little it would be. I am terrible at measuring it, measuring things before I purchase them. But wouldn't it be great as a giveaway? I might just add this to the giveaway because... I have really bad arthritic hands, and so some of this little stuff, i it's got to be a really good day for me to do. And I'm just not sure how I would use it, but it is really cute. And somehow, if, you know, the top can stay down, it really would be like a cute little, you know, for little gifts that you might find, um, you know, in those gumball machines. I'm, I'm sh I know the Dollar Tree has little stuff like that. Or even like Hershey's Kisses. I bet you could probably fit a couple of those Hershey bars in there. You could, I mean, you could put a lot of little stuff in there. Mostly candy and little trinkets, but it is really cute. I just put it in a plain little white, made it a plain little white one. But you know, put a little saying on there. Or maybe, um, maybe a mom for Valentine's Day helps her, uh, her kids, you know, like a Valentine's thing. I can't think right now. My head's just spinning. But that, you know, I'm not disappointed because it's cute and it, it um, cuts really well and it is cute. It's just a little too small for me. I guess I was thinking it'd be more like this size, but that's okay. That's okay. And I also got um, a couple of word dies and I had forgotten what I had gotten. So... Um, I cut them out. This one cut out just okay. I just got a little, um, antsy there at the end where the T is. It did come out and it would have came out if I would have used a pick, but I was on lunch break. So I had to hurry up and quick cut it out. And I didn't, you know, I wasn't very patient, but it is, there is sunshine in my heart. So cute. So that is cute. This one I did try to, I mean, I cut them both on the same pass, so I don't know if I need another pass with this one, but it didn't cut so well. But I'm sure if I did another pass, it would. And I think what it says is today, maybe I can read it on here. No, because it didn't cut well. Oh, maybe it's upside down. Today is a perfect day. You are my sweetheart. So cute. So maybe that was why they also had a discount is because this would more be like a Valentine's saying. Okay, sorry, let's get on here. So then the rest are all stamps from the In Love Art Shop. I do not have a lot of stamps, so I thought that I'd get some. Let's see if I got something to put behind there so you can see it better. Is that better? Oh, that's better. So I got myself some dragonflies. They're one of my favorite things. I wanted to get some letters so that I could quick write something or, you know, stamp something up instead of waiting for, like, the cricket or something like that. Um, got some more letters. And a lot of these other ones, I only wanted a couple of them. So, I mean, they might just be in the giveaway. I might be cutting some up and getting, putting them in the giveaway because I didn't really want all of them. 
But what struck me is, you know, I love that, that heart. That heart there, and I like the envelope. I already have one of these, so, you know, I can give that away. The same with these, really cute, but I didn't want all of them. I just wanted the love in the middle. So cute. And then these, where I could put, you know, a saying in the middle. These are adorable. Little ice creams and, well, I guess there's just one. And that might not even be an ice cream. It could be a cupcake. It could be even hot chocolate. Very cute. And then my favorite one. Oh, yeah, look at her. She is awesome. She's staying with me. Love her. And then there's some more tags. Stamp to stamp. And a bunch of these I liked. So cute. Like the love. And I mean, that's even cute. They're all cute. I don't know if my fingers would like the arrows, though. And then the last one, which I'm not sure why I picked such small things, but maybe this is free. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. But um, a bunch of little leaves. I might have picked it. But, you know, me, I don't check measurements. Okay, so that was all from the In Love Art Shop. Mm. Then from AliExpress, I was shocked I got this stuff already. I, uh... I don't think I've shown it. I ordered from, this is from um, the Surprise Creation Store. I have never ordered from them before, but I watch Nicole, and she does a lot of dye designs. And so I had, after watching the one video she had, I had picked out a couple of things I wanted, and then a couple of extras. So this is a, a matchbox. Um, die set and it comes with that piece and then it comes with these three pieces and then it comes with a little bar and this is what it looks like I had it upside down though but this is what it looks like so it's just like a matchbox look at that <laughs> oops that was bent down but look at that so cute so cute I love it so I'm glad I got that can definitely add this to um, lots of projects. Probably like some of the journals that I would like to get started on and, and scrapbooks, things like that, mini albums. And then I love this set. I don't have a whole lot of like circle sets, but I liked this one. I don't know, here, let's go this way. But I like this set. So I got that set. And uh, it cuts out just like this, like these. So them turned out pretty good. I really love that. I love that, the pointies on the around them. And then I got another flower. I don't know why I keep buying flower sets, but I got another flower one. I just like flowers. But I was kind of looking for a set that looked like um, dogwood. Ugh. Let's go over here. And so I got this set. Hopefully you can see that. And then they cut out like, like this. And then I also got another example that I'll show you in a little bit. So they cut out real well. I mean, I was surprised how well the, the, all of these dice from Surprise Creation cut out very, very well. And then I don't know why I have a thing for purses, but I do. So it's like almost every die I see that's a purse, I feel like I have to get. But, um... She came up with a design for Surprise Creation. The other one I have is from KS Crafts, and I think it's even hers for that, too. I'm not sure. But this one is just a tad bigger. And so that is what it looks like. You get the, the two pieces, and then you get the inner piece, and then the side. And then you get a little zipper. Or a zipper. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a zipper. And then you get the little zipper thingies. Anthony's. And this is what they, this is how I, I cut them out to, to look. And here's where those other flowers are. I had a Nuvo drop and just I put a couple of those zipper things, poles. There we go. Zipper poles there just to make a design out of it. And then the back I did the zipper. And then I did um, 
this one. I didn't get the middle part put in. I should have, but I didn't. But I did on this other one. So I did that one. And then I did this one. Isn't that cute? And then on the back, the zipper. And then opens up. And this one I did do the center in. So I really liked how those turned out. And I did try them on leather, on the faux leather. So these, my plan is, is, you know, to try and, I obviously I gotta make a few cuter ones and I gotta figure out how to do the, the thing. I'm gonna have to do them like I did my Christmas ones, but you know, sell them just like I did for Christmas, but maybe in a set of two or three. And they can be used for gift cards or, you know, adding gifts. So the paper ones is how I would like to do that. And then um, I did cut one out with the inner piece because I don't feel that all of the, detail in that outer piece is going to go through leather so i haven't tried it um but i usually use that that inner piece and so it is actually a little bit bigger oh that one's not one let's see it is actually a little bit bigger than i think it's it i'm pretty sure it was yes it's a little bit bigger now this is the outer piece of the other one because this is a paper one so here's the comparison so one is just a tad smaller than the one i just bought so the chaos crafts one looks like this and this one is the surprise creations they're both really cute i really am glad i have them both and in they're unique you don't see them everywhere but yeah i did do a leather one it with the inner piece but now that i see a couple of them with the outer piece i'm gonna have to try it i just not sure though that detail and then you you know you kind of worry about that so that is that is my die and stamp haul hopefully you enjoyed please make sure to um hit the like button subscribe and we will talk to you next time all right bye now